Today I wanna guys share with you something I did myself, I did this table myself. I'm gonna talk to you guys today about bad and good alcohols and skincare ingredients. Now I'm gonna tell you quickly why I started doing this because I started having a lot of health issues like irritated skin, itchy skin, red skin, like kind of flaky skin. I started having like serious uh, health issues um, like more than a year ago. I started to having tired Hashimoto's, I started feeling fatigued. Then I did the test about the heavy metals. I have a heavy metal toxicity and you know guys, there is many, many reasons why I have this, nutrition, stress and stuff like this. And then in my research, I kind of find out that this can happen just because of the skincare and makeup and all the cosmetic ingredients that we use women every single day. Every single day, every woman apply more than 20 different cosmetic products on her skin and on her hair. I started doing research a lot, a lot about ingredients. And yes, some skincare products, cosmetic products, especially makeup can have like really high concentrations of mercury lead and all the toxic metals and not only metals other ingredients i'm starting to do this series about each of the ingredient group right now i'm going to talk about alcohols but i just wanted to tell you guys that in the future i'm gonna be doing reviewing all the parabens uh, fragrance everything what makeup skincare product has i'm going to do my research i'm not talking from my own opinion i'm going to talk about what research says what studies that they has been done saying about those ingredients so guys are you ready to find out which alcohols are actually good and which alcohols are bad in my research I kind of divided those alcohols in two groups most of the alcohols that are good are derived from plants like coconut and they are like thickener emollient emulsifiers that gives them basically moisturizing like oily kind of soft smooth feeling for our skin and products like a cream night cream day cream eye cream they are kind of have to have have fatty alcohols all those good alcohols are fatty alcohols so from my table that I made guys I didn't copy from anywhere I made myself good alcohols cetyl steril ceteril lanolin acetylated lanolin archidyl those are good alcohols that if you're going to see in the skincare ingredients those alcohol are actually good they are fatty alcohols which not dry the skin it's good for us now bad alcohols are most of the time irritating or making your skin like sensitive sensitize the skin those alcohols is like regular alcohol just the name alcohol sd alcohol isopropyl alcohol denaturated alcohol alcohol denant ethanol ethyl alcohol methanol methyl alcohol polyvinyl alcohol benzyl alcohol some cases benzyl alcohol it can be okay if it's used very very at the bottom so for example if you have a skincare ingredients and benzyl alcohol at the very very bottom like a last line that's not bad only bad if it's only at the top of the ingredients i found a couple of studies and a couple of like controversial opinions about bad alcohols i'm gonna tell you my opinion what i think a little bit later but now what study says like paula bognan she's been doing you guys know a paula's choice owner she's been doing a lot of research about any skincare ingredients she does not use any bad ingredients in her skincare line i really really love paula's choice cosmetics really really much basically she says that bad alcohol also irritates dries causes oxidation in the body in the skin all the studies guys if you want to look up you have to get into CIR which is cosmetic ingredient review page I'm gonna link all the pages all the studies done down below under this video you can do your own research but this is what I found for example methyl alcohol is given in the CIR safety assessment of methyl alcohol methyl alcohol causes primary irritation to the skin prolong and repair contact with methyl alcohol resulted in defacing and dermatitis topical allergy responses observed for contact with alcohols were enzymaceous eruption and wheel and flare at the exposure sites but then about isopropyl alcohol in study where it was done it says a spray concentrated with isopropyl alcohol at 80% did not exhibit any potential for dermal sensitization in nine human participants and a human repeated in salt patch test on 109 test participants 
a hair dye based formulation of almost 3% isopropyl alcohol that resulted in no dermal sensitization. Most of this alcohol were found irritation. This study is huge, it's a lot of guys to read. I cannot go everything through, but like briefly, I can say that some people more sensitized, most of them not sensitized. Uh, also, it's been done that they were holding for two hours four of the fingers in the alcohol. Those people didn't have any side effects, but when they pee, with the pee came out only 17% of the alcohol, which means remain, stay somewhere in the bloodstream. Imagine if you're having product that you apply cream every single day for 20 years. In study doesn't say they didn't do this for 20 years. They didn't do this study for 10 years for or four years. I don't know for how long they did. My personal opinion, guys, avoid as much as possible. There is not much study like shown that something can happen. They don't say that it's carcinogenic, that it causes cancer, that is causing oxidation in the body or in the skin. This means kind of cell making to age faster. But in my opinion, in my experience, I have clients for really, really, really long time. And especially right now when I have business, people buy from me products. My cosmetics contains only fat alcohols, but people sometimes sending me, oh, I've been using this cream and send me ingredient list and there is the nutrated alcohol or isoprofil alcohol. And they say, oh, I started using this cream and my skin became red. And I have many people contacting me and sending me pictures with a really, really bad inflamed skin while they were using uh, something with a bad alcohol. In my opinion, if you can avoid, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to damage your skin, but it can sensitize your skin. It can dry your skin. It can cause acne. If your skin is dry sensitive, your skin is reacting when it's too dry. It's producing too much oil. Sebums are extra working and then you get the pimples. So I will stay away. The only one way can help, for example, if you have a cleanser with the alcohol, let's say with the denaturated alcohol, and if you have very oily skin, acne skin, once a week, the cleanser actually will help. You have to know when to apply and when to not apply. But if you have a normal and especially dry skin, I will really, really stay away from all the bad alcohols. I'm gonna put this table right now, guys. You can take a screenshot if you want. You can save it in your phone and when you go somewhere in drugstore and online buy cosmetic product, just read quickly if you see any name with all these ingredients, pay attention and that's it. So I hope you like, guys, this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and you can get notified about my skincare-related videos. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to leave me a like. I love you, bye.